back see in today's tutorial we'll try to answer a question okay which arise a lot of time a lot of people are asking this question out okay and whenever i'm doing code review in my organization also i can see this kind of practice okay among a lot of developers and it's about when we want to do a count of rows okay into a database then what should we use so if you need to count rows you have two options the get row count method from glide aggregate or get aggregate method and using count okay using glide record to count rows can cause scalability issue as time grows over time okay because it retrieves each and every record with a query and then counts them for instance uh, if you want to see incident with category software so what it will do it will pull all the records with all the attributes on that particular record and then it will start counting okay which may lead to performance issue while glide aggregate what it does it gets its result from built in database functionality which is much quicker and doesn't suffer from the scalability issue that glide record does so let's see one example okay which can explain it out in a better way so what i will do uh, which table have tons of data so let's take cmdb this is ci dot list because then only we will be able to see the difference okay so how many record 2784 perfect and i will not add anything out okay let's let's query the entire table okay and i will go to i will jump right to background script and what we will be doing we'll be executing it with glide record first and then glide aggregate and we'll see what is the difference between the execution time this is not a production environment this is a personal development instance so the data set is quite small and the difference of the execution time will also be small but when you go into actual environment this may vary and it may make a huge difference okay in the execution out so first of all we'll go with the glide record so i will give you the glide record new glide record we want to go with which table cm why cm do you see because it has tons of data see i will not add any query okay because i want to see the difference right so and i will do gr dot query okay and we can add if gr dot next then we can do simply gs dot info and in info we can do gr dot get row count okay so this is all for this particular thing okay and if we run this out it took 50 seconds okay for the execution if i run one more time let's see one more time so it took 44 second one more time so it took 55 seconds so on an average is taking around 50 seconds to get the row count for all the cis okay now let's try to do the same with glide aggregate so what i will do variable ga for glide aggregate to new glide record sorry not glide glide aggregate and it will be on this underscore the table no query so i will do ga dot add aggregate what kind of aggregate we want to add we want to count we'll do ga dot query you must be thinking a lot of people ask me this question that we have to write a more code right one more line of code for this so <laughs> it it obviously doesn't make sense and you will be seeing it now okay so i've just done query and we can do if ga dot next if it if it has any record then we want to display the count of the rows so you have seen that it, the glide record took on average 50 seconds let's try to get it for this uh, we will do gs dot info and we'll do ga dot get aggregate and i'll just give count so we got the count as 2784 Okay, it should give the same count. That's the first thing. So if I run this out now, so oh, I did. See, we want to do CMD CI. I got shocked for a second. 
Okay, if I run this out, it took 33 second. Okay, let's do one more time. 38 second. 38 second. So you can consider on average it's taking 36 seconds, and when it comes to glide aggregate, it took around 50 seconds, 51 seconds. Okay, in this such a small set of users. Okay, so you can imagine when the data set grows. Okay, what this difference will make. Okay, what this difference will count. Okay, so this is this is all for today's tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to just showcase what is the best way to get the count. Okay, whenever we want to do the row count kind of thing, and from the example, we understood that glide aggregate is the best. We also know the reason now. Okay, why it's best. Okay, uh, I hope this this tutorial was helpful to you, and please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified. Whenever a new video is coming on my YouTube channel, okay. Till then, stay safe, stay happy, and have a nice day. Thank you.